I want to talk a little bit about, about the journey, about the journey deciding to leave everything, everything that I knew in New York on the East Coast all my family, all my friends, all the ways I knew how to make money, everything, and come and do something that struck my spirit as having to be done. I always knew I was going to live in LA at some point in my life, always. Since the first time I ever came out here when I was like seven years old, my mom said that, she said, that I said that I was going to live out here. She probably just laughed it off, but here I am, living, making my dreams my reality as all of us artists do, but with the focus of making my artistry make an impact to help create a change that will continue to provide the shift that's happening in the world when it comes to a mental level of us as human beings communicating and interacting with each other. And I want you to know that the journey, the journey is just as good as the outcome we already see for ourselves. The journey that we're on, this path, this trail, this struggle road, this up and down winding road like Mulholland Drive. If you've been out here to LA, you know what I'm talking about. This narrow path, path sometimes, and then these open four lane, five lane, six lane, eight way lane freeways. <laughs> we have this. Our life, our journey does this. It does this, it does this, it does, whoop, and then it's like, bing. All in the same time, our journey is ever evolving, ever changing, ever becoming of us, but what it is that you can do to make sure that you are really on your journey and no one else's is to take that time to sit with yourself and be with yourself. Write down everything it is that you've ever wanted in life. Everything. Write down the cars you wanted, the books. Write down the house. Write down everything, the dogs, the kids, the, the grandchildren, everything you've ever wanted in your life. Write it down now. Now your journey has begun. You have begun thinking for you. That's the first part. We must first start here in our minds and think for ourselves because it's real easy to be underneath mommy, daddy, brother, sister, cousin, aunt, niece, nephew, grandma, grandpa all the time. It's easy. That's the easy part of life. Well, guess what? In order for you to get to where you really want to be, you got you to gotta encounter some difficulty. You got to start thinking for you. First, yeah, it's not selfish. Okay, maybe somebody will tell you you're being selfish, but you're being selflessly selfish. Thinking about what you need to do with your body and your vessel and your mind to live out the journey that you see for yourself because you know it's possible. You need to begin doing that, acting in it. So we wrote it down, that's great. We're gonna begin acting in it. What do we need to do every day? Every day to get us that much closer to our goal because mastery only happens after 10,000 hours. Mastery only happens after 10,000 hours. So let's begin today. Let's start our journey now. You're not alone, I'm here with you. And if you see these obstacles, these waves coming against you, these things set against you, they're just there really, truly, they're really just there to see if you're strong enough to get those things you envision for yourself anyway. Because once you have those things, the journey never ends. The journey continues. Life continues. Life evolves. Let's make sure we're taking the time to do what it is that we know we are capable of doing so well that nothing can deter us from doing just that. Welcome to the journey.